हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर अनिल पालवे एंड प्रेजेंटली आई एम एच ओ डी एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट रिगार्डिंग द स्टेरियो केमिस्ट्री एंड इन स्टेरियो केमिस्ट्री वी हैव आर एंड एस कॉन्फिगेशन सो टुडे टॉपिक फॉर लेक्चर इज आर कॉन्फिगेशन एज वेल एज एस कॉन्फिगेशन सो लेटेस्ट लुक टूअर्ड्स the exact definitions and what exactly it means by so first of all r configuration a clockwise direction is r and in latin it means that rectus so r configuration means the clockwise direction rotation of the clockwise direction as well as this r indicates that rectus and the lat this is the latin word and this rectus means that the right while if you look towards the yes configuration at that time a counter or anti clockwise direction is known as yes in latin word that is sinister means anti clockwise direction so this is the main basic difference between r as well as the s yes configuration now while giving the r as well as s yes configuration we have certain rule that is kahn ingold prelog rule for the sequencing the different groups because without sequencing without giving the priority to groups we cannot have the r as well as s yes configuration so first of all let us learn the kahn ingold prelog cip sequence rule the first rule in kahn ingold prelog rule is prioritize the four groups around a chiral center according to atomic number so when we are giving the priority at that time we have to look into atomic number of the atom which is attached to the carbon atom this is the first rule second one is the highest atomic number is assigned priority 1 so this is also important we have to give the priority to that particular atom which has highest atomic number so this is the first and then lowest atomic number is assigned priority 4 so this is also very much uh, important in this rule then orient the chiral center in a such a way that the fourth priority fourth priority substituent is pointing away from the river for our purposes it's enough for it merely to be attached to a dash bond so this is our for our convenience purpose what we have to do we have to organize the fourth priority group in a such a way that if we are viewing that molecule it should be away from us after that trace the path of priorities like 1 2 3 and then 4 or sometimes four part if it is away from us you can ignore it and just have the priorities like 1 2 and then 3 if the path trace from 1 2 3 is clockwise direction then the chiral center is assigned as a r and if the path trace is counter clockwise then the chiral center is assigned as a yes configuration from the latin word sinister so let us look at some of the examples of this r as well as n configuration now let us go ahead with this now here you can see that this is the one example at the center we have carbon and it is attached to the carbon number 1 2 and 3 and 4 now this 1 2 3 4 are the priorities assigned for these atoms which are attached to the central carbon atom now according to rule we have to trace this from carbon number 1 then carbon number 2 and then carbon number 
so when we look towards this path at that time it is noticed that it is clockwise direction and therefore such type of configuration is known as r configuration after that let us look towards this example now we have central carbon atom and we have four different groups attached to this this is the first priority group this is the second priority group and this is the third one and we have fourth one it is shown by dashed line it indicates that the fourth priority group is away from us when we view this molecule at that time this dashed bond is away from us now let us look towards the priorities for these atoms which are attached to this central carbon atom so let us start from one then we are going towards the second and then we have third so now this is counter clockwise direction anti clockwise direction so such type of configuration is known as yes configuration now let us have another example here now in this case again the priority for oh is 1 after that nitrogen has atomic number 7 so second priority then carbon has atomic number 6 so priority number 3 and then hydrogen atomic number is 4 so priority is 4 so here fourth group is away from us so i can write like dash and then we can start the priorities from group number 1 2 3 so if you look towards this this is the clockwise direction rotation and therefore the configuration for this compound is r configuration